Hey guys, just want to state that this video is not an instructional video and it should not be used as such, uh, nor is it a guide to show what you should or shouldn't do. All it is is to uh, show the equipment that I use and um, just a brief demonstration of how I use it. Hey guys, this is Bob O from Heli Freak. Just want to make a quick video to show my charging setup. Um, I just went electric, uh, on a 12 cell 600, and so I have a bunch of 6s lipo packs, the 3,000 milliamps, and my charging setup is um, the high tech X2400 multi charger. It's a dual channel charger that can uh, output 400 watts on each channel. And the question came up on Heli Freak the other night as to if this charger would run on um, the power supply that I got. And what that is is a Progressive RC 500 watt power supply that can output 33 amps continuous. And the question came about when the manual for the charger said it wanted a 60 amp input. So if that's truly the case, uh, my power supply would be insufficient. But today, what I'm going to do is um, run both these chargers off of one power supply. I have uh, one 6S 3000 milliamp pack hooked up to each channel. I'm only going to charge each one at 1C, so 3 amps per channel. Um, so for a total draw of 12 amps and um, total. A wattage draw of 300 watts so it should be well within the capabilities of the power supply so um, what I'll do is start the charge um, you're gonna hear the fans kick up on the charger immediately um, they're sort of loud but anyway I'll start the charge I'll pause the video come back a couple times throughout to see how everything's doing and then um, put the video together after a few segments. So I'll go ahead and start it up right now. Basically it's a uh, 300 watt draw between the two chargers and 12 amps um, between the two chargers. So we'll see if this power supply can handle that. Okay, so you can see the fans kick on. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on the video, but the screens are showing um, that each channel is charging at 3 amps, and they're starting at around 23.2 volts each pack. So I'll go ahead and pause it now. I'll come back a couple times throughout the charge and update. Alright guys, we're 10 minutes into the charge and um, it's put in 500 milliamps so far. Oh, I forgot to mention this is a balanced charge. Uh, but it's still, each charger is still putting out 3 amps on each channel. And so I'll go ahead and check the charger. Both the chargers are cool and they're pumping out cool air. The power supply is uh, just barely warm and uh, it's pumping out just some warm air. So everything looks good so far and the packs are cool and looks like they're doing good. So that's 10 minutes in and um, come back in another 10 or 15 minutes. Um, see how things are doing. I don't expect that uh, there are going to be any changes other than the um, amps are going to drop as the uh, balancing starts towards the end of the pack charge.
All right, guys, we're 30 minutes into the charge and things are just about done. The um, chargers have been outputting at uh, lower amperage as the uh, voltage has started to peak on the packs, but they're still cool just like they were before, um, pumping out some cool air, and the power supply is still the same, it's just a little bit warm and um, just pumping out some barely warm air. So it looks like in the case of uh, these 3000 milliamp packs only charging at 1C, um, both chargers running off of one power supply that's only rated at 33 amps is uh, no problem at all. Um, 2C, obviously uh, you'd exceed the um, wattage on the power supply. Um, I do have a second one of these power supplies uh, so I could run one charger off of each. But uh, at a 1C charge in these packs it looks like everything is fine. Um, looks like three of the batteries are going to be done here shortly. So um, anyway my quick video to show that uh, the setup works fine. Uh, without pushing it to its limits. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. Okay guys, just to finish up this video here real quick, a um, couple of observations. Here's my other power supply. Uh, it's identical to the one that was being used in the video. Obviously if I wanted to charge it at higher than 2C I would want to use a power supply for each charger but um, towards the end the as the voltage um, peaked out and uh, the amperage dropped off and it started to do a lot of balancing the power supply got really cool um, it was only ever slightly warm during the charge but uh, it did cool off a lot during the balancing so I wanted to point that out and um, also just to finish up make sure that you um, do your research on your equipment um, make sure you ask any questions um, on Heli Freak. there's a lot of knowledgeable guys there um, that can answer pretty much any question that you have regarding equipment and usage and things like that um, I'm brand new to this so I'm still learning a lot but uh, definitely make sure that you um, do your research, do your homework figure stuff out, um, make sure that you do it right.